Hey, hey! How's it going, everybody? My name is Python, and welcome back to another episode here of Ark Survival Evolved coming at you from Lost Island. As you guys can see, we are currently making a ton of Trank Arrows. In fact, it just finished. We've got 157 of the buggers in total, and that is because today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be attempting to tame another creature that I myself have never ever tamed before in Ark, and that is the griffin. That is right. Today is griffin taming day. So as always, I do want to start off by saying a huge massive thank you for all of your lovely support throughout this series. Once again, last episode reached well over 500 likes, which is absolutely fantastic, my friends. Of course, if you do want to continue supporting the series, the best and easiest way to do so is simply to drop a like on the video. And if you really want to go one further with your support, go ahead and use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. So I won't lie to you guys, I think this is going to be another one of those episodes where I'm looking to the side, to the ARC wiki, just so we can figure out the best way forward in terms of trying to A, find a griffin, B, potentially trap it, and C, to tame it. The one thing I do know about the griffin is it does not require a saddle. Rather similar to the moss chops, you could just ride its back straight to wherever you want to go. You don't have to worry about that side of things. And in terms of what they eat to be tamed, it's mostly meat stuff. So mutton, raw prime meat, even just regular raw meat will do the job as well. Extraordinary kibble is apparently the kind of kibble that a griffin needs if you want to tame it super freaking quick. But unfortunately, we do not have the resources to make extraordinary kibble. Because in order to make the extraordinary kibble, we need giant bee honey, which is something we do not have. And we apparently needs something called the Lazarus Chowder. Something which I'm not entirely sure I've ever made before. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> so as you can see, my Rex is now level 206. And at this point, ladies and gentlemen, I'm literally just ranking up her melee damage. Because why would I not? It's mostly going to be health and melee damage that Rexes need if you really want them to be super useful, right? Especially when it comes to bosses. So one of the other things I know about the Griffin is apparently you can go ahead and shoot your crossbow from the back of a griffin even while it's flying so what that means ladies and gentlemen is the griffin could be the key to being able to tame ourselves a quetzal eventually seems like a pretty good way to go right so yeah i'm pretty excited about this guys i really am but obviously we need to find and tame a griffin first all right so i think for a griffin tame we're gonna try and make ourselves a little bit of a trap house or a trap hut or whatever you want to call it basically we're gonna need ourselves two dinosaur gateways so it can fly in and then once it gets inside the base you go ahead and shot one of the doors, run around to the other side, shot the other door, and then boom, you're good. It should be trapped, right? We've got to make sure we've got ourselves a gateway unlocked, which we do not. We should probably go ahead and get on that. There it is, dinosaur gateway. Do we need a behemoth one or a regular one? That's the question, isn't it? Maybe just a regular one will do the job? So fiber, stone, thatch, and wood, and we will have ourselves a few gateways. There we are, two gateways ready to be crafted. Right, after that, we just need ourselves the doors and a bunch of walls, platforms, and ceilings, because obviously they are flyers, so that means we need to put a roof on it so they can't just fly on out of there, right? So yeah, foundations, walls, or some sort of open? Wall? Is there a way to do that? I mean, maybe we could just make window frames? I mean, then we just have little poke holes all over the walls, won't we? I mean, to be honest, even just the modest thatch foundation might just do the job. Then again, I don't know. It might just destroy it. I don't know. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the size of the regular dino gate and I don't know, I feel like it might be big enough to get a griffin through it, right? Double door frame. If I was to just not put doors in it, that might just be the best way of us having the largest amount of space possible. I mean, if you just had like a window frame wall thing, then there'd just be a small little hole for you to shoot your arrows through, right? But if you have a door frame, a double door frame, that might 
do the job quite nicely, actually. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a little bit heavy on not just my back, but whatever dino I take with me to try and tame this griffin. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be the Maywing, to be honest, because the Maywing is just fantastic. Like, is there any other word for that guy? I think not, honestly. They really are that good. So if my calculations are anything to go by, if we're doing a two by four kind of structure with the foundations, that means obviously at either end, we've got ourselves the dino gateway, but on the sides where it's four uh, along, that means we are going to be needing, what, 32 of these? Blimey O'Reilly. That's a... Uh... That's a lot of freaking double doorways, but hey ho, we'll give it a go. So another 16, and that should do it, right? So check it out, ladies and gentlemen. While that's all crafting up, we can go ahead and level ourselves up a whole bunch of times. So I'll tell you what, let's go for a little bit of health, and we are going to go for even more weight as well, because why the hell not? We're at level 80 now, ladies and gentlemen. 8080. The Industrial Forge, there it is. Oh, snappers. You get multiple of these, and you have got... A crazy amount of metal coming in at a crazy rate. We've got the Utyrina saddle. Obviously, we're going to have ourselves a bit of that. Uh, compound bow and metal arrow. I don't know. It could be something to do. The Rock Drake and Quet saddle. Obviously, things we definitely do want. A lot of you guys were saying to me that the Rock Drake is apparently really good at uh, harvesting certain resources. So, I'm very, very excited to go ahead and try to tame one of these guys for the first time as well. So, check it out as well, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, I've been periodically going ahead and topping up the resources for all of these various mortar and pestles. I mean, look at this. We've got a freaking ginormous amount of spark powder now, which is going to be incredible useful, especially when it comes to making gunpowder for any eventual gun weapons we may wind up having. And there we are in terms of a bit of a metal update, 237 plus 8 metal ingots. So we're not doing too bad, are we, my friends? We're not doing bad by any stretch of the imagination. Alrighty, about 280 cementing paste. All very, very useful. Eventually, we will get ourselves one of these bad boys. And as you can see, we're slowly starting to grind our way towards it. We already have the oil. We can get polymer pretty easy if we try to defeat a bunch of those mantis dudes, according to you guys. And getting crystals should be pretty darn easy as well. Alrighty, guys. So the time has come. It is time to try to find ourselves a griffin. Now, I think one of the areas where we managed to find one before was was actually the bottom left of the map. If I just bring it up here, the bottom left over here on this island. I recall there being one up there. So, let's go for a bit of an explore and see what we can find. If it's only a low-level griffin, then what I may do is potentially kill it. Maybe it'll free up some space for a higher-level one to potentially spawn, right? That's my logic anyway. I'm not entirely sure if Ark would follow that logic as well, but I guess that's something we'll find out. Huh? Alrighty, guys, so believe it or not, there is indeed a griffin already. It's, like, way up here trying to defeat an Argentavis, I think. Uh, right, what level is it? That's the real question. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, 140? What a start. Okay. Uh, is that a red loot beam as well? Uh, I cannot tell if that's red or purple. Okay, it's purple. Damn it, man. I hate it. I hate how similar in color they are. But, oh well. Might as well go ahead and see what we have here. A fabricator blueprint. That's kind of cool, actually. Yeah. Eventually, what we're going to do is we're going to take ourselves a mind wipe tonic right? And then from there, we might just be able to uh, very, very carefully figure out what we actually need to unlock in terms of the engram points. Because if we can save the engram points, we might be onto a winner here, guys. Ha <laughs> ha! Silly Cardo! All right, so we've got another griffin here, which is only level 20. Uh, I feel like this is going to be incredibly dangerous. Like, no matter what I do, I feel like this is going to be incredibly dangerous. I mean, I seem to be all right on this peak here. But I feel like any number of creatures could come after us here. Right. Uh, can we do this? Nice and easy, like. Three and four. And there we go. Two and three and four. All right. Cool. Right. Then we do the dino gateways. They're going to be going on either side here. Rather like so, you know, nice and easy like. All right, then we need to get the doorways in, of course. Get one in there, get one in there. Uh, do we get the walls in next? We've got one, two, three, four. 
And then we need to basically stack them rather like this. Oh, look at that. Look at the amount of space we're going to have to actually shoot the griffin through. I mean, this might just be the way to do it, dudes. <laughs> okay. And then finally, of course, we do have ourselves uh, all of these here. Oh, I can't. Uh, hmm. Maybe it only needs to be three tall? Question mark. Because I can't go up to four tall. Huh. Anyways, check it out, guys. We might just about have this thing done. So we're just going to make sure that both sides are open. Once we get the griffin in here, we immediately go ahead and we close this dino gateway. And then we try to rush to the other side, close it on that side as well, and then all will be well. That's the plan. Whether or not that plan is going to go to plan... <laughs> It's another matter. As you guys know in this series so far, our plans and what actually comes to pass, uh, yeah, two totally different things, aren't they? Hello! Hey, how's it going, fellas? How is it going? You want to try and come after me, sir? Uh, no, the Argentavis and the Griffins still seem to be having a lot of fun together, huh? I wonder if I could sort of interrupt them by trying to take out the Argy. Uh, nope, okay, maybe not. I haven't got enough height. Ah, oh, darn it, you hate to see it. I mean, it seems to me that both of these creatures have incredibly bad turning circles. Like, I'm not the only one noticing that, right? I'm really not entirely sure I could even do this. Oh, hang on. I think the RG's run out of uh, stamina. Oh, no. It was flying down for a minute there, which is why I thought that. But never mind. Gosh darn it, man. Hey, guys. I can see my house from here. Well, it's not really my house because it's kind of despawned in the distance there. But that's the area. It's way down there. <laughs> we could probably get there in one swoop with our freaking uh, Maxi the Maywing. So, yeah, should we do it? Should we do it? Should we go for one almighty glide? Woohoo! Oh, dude, this is great. I love this crap. I love this creature. I really do. The Maywing is top freaking tier. Top freaking banana. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get ourselves a Tyrannodon and we'll get back up there and we'll see if we can lure it into the... Oh my God! We'll see if we can... <laughs> we'll see if we can lure it into the trap. Gee whiz, that guy just... Uh, that guy was quick there. Uh, what's happening? Oh, you son of a gun. It's an Ichthy! Hey! No! Oh, and now everybody's all messed up. Ah! hate to see it, guys. You hate to see it. Random side note. Notice all of these bookshelves here? They've all got names. We've got Saddle Blueprints that we've picked up over this course of the series. We've got the gear here that we can get. And finally, of course, just regular blueprints for whatever other generic stuff we may have. So, yeah. All in all, we're looking pretty good. Right. Question. Are we going to be able to ride Tony... Yeah, nice and easy. The answer to that is yes. Fantastic. The only bad thing about the Tyrannodon, of course, is its lack of stamina. So we may have to take a little bit of a pit stop every now and again, huh? So here's a question. Is it the Griffin that is hostile towards the Argentavis, or is it the Argentavis that is hostile towards the Griffin? The answer to that could very well swing how well we are able to do this thing. If it's the Griffin the aggro's onto the RG, then that's okay, because it means that Argentavis won't come back to the trap there and just absolutely destroy it while I'm trying to tame it, right? All right, here we go, guys. Here goes freaking nothing. Hello there, Griffin. We need to hit you just the once. Like that. Uh, and then what you're meant to do is follow me. But it's not. Right. Okay, this guy's actually on me now. Okay, good, 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 good. Yes, good, good, good. Yes. No, 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 don't go back, you freaking stupid idiot. Oh, this is getting a little bit close, this is. All right, this RG is nearly dead, though. Come on. Come on. Go down, go down, buddy. Ugh. Okay, Argentavis is out the game, which leaves the Griffin on us. All right, we need to get our stamina back, though, ideally. All right, where is it? Oh, God, it's coming in quick. It's coming in quick and freaking hot. Okay, right. It's trap time. I don't think we've got much choice. Oh, no, the RG. The RG's in the way. Oh, Tavis, no. Oh, not ideal. Not ideal. No. Right. So all we got to do now is take on this RG, take it out the game, and then 
we might have this. Hey, the RG's out of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Still got plenty of stamina. So what we need to do is we need to bring ourselves around here, right? Do a little bit of a Yui, just so it can actually turn around and sort of align itself over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Come through here. And close the freaking door. Baby! Suck on it! Whoa! Oh god, hang on. No! No, no, no! Don't destroy my stuff! Don't destroy it! Come on! I'm starting to figure that there may have been a reason to you. Oh no. There may have been a reason to use other building materials. Okay. Maybe I should have used stone. Isn't stone, like, invulnerable to most dinos? Oh, that's not good, is it? That's not good at all. Hello. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait. Is it going away? It is flying quick sharp. Damn it. That's really bad. Hello. I can't... I can't do anything. It needs to... Oh, it's the one that got away. I don't think there's much I can do here, guys. It is literally flying into hostile territory. Damn it, man. Oh, okay. Lesson learned. Stone. Stone, 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 and stone again. And yeah, I know a lot of you guys are probably cringing in the comments area. But please, before you hash down your freaking snarky comments, bear in mind, I don't really know much about griffins or how to trap or anything like that. So you guys are going to have to give me a little bit of slack, okay? Eh, it's on the way back. Might as well see what we've got here. Oh, wow, a glass jar. All right, so what all of this means is we need to go ahead and basically start from scratch. And what that means is using our May Wing to get ourselves back over there because of its incredible carry weight. And then build ourselves the new trap, bring the May Wing back, and then go ahead and bring the Pteranodon. Although with that all said and done, can't I just go ahead and use a Pokeball? Why didn't I do that before? All right, let the crafting begin. All righty, eight stone foundations. At least we got the size right. You see? Silver linings. I learned that. We got the size right, all right? And hey, another silver lining. We're getting more crafting XP, so, you know, I can't complain. Talking of levels up, here we go. At level 81, what have we got here? The scuba outfit. Yeah. So, what the griffin flying away told me is that it was real close to being knocked out. I mean, at the end of the day, that's the same with any arc dinos, right? They start to flee when they've got high torpor. So, yeah, we were pretty darn close. The proof of concept was there, and it was working. We just needed higher-end resources to actually make the structure with. All right, some upgraded dino gateways, and we're just about ready to try this thing again, ladies and gents. So, all of our building parts have been created, and all we got to do now is put our Pteranodon in a cryopod, and then we can take our Maywing and the Pteranodon at the same time to our destination. All right, Tony, into the Pokeball you go there, buddy. All right, Maxi, let's try this thing again. Uh, this time, we should be more successful. As far as I know, stone building resources are largely impervious to most dinos, and I really hope that I'm right in saying that, because if I'm not right, and we do still wind up having it be destroyed, then I'm going to feel like the most biggest doofus you've ever freaking seen. Also, I don't know about you guys, there's a red loot beam there. Well, 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 what do we have here? Uh, stuff. Ascendant Anki Saddle and a Mastercraft, what was that, a Deodon Saddle? Is that what it said? A Deodon Saddle. Yeah, it is. Whoa! There's a Tech Rex over there. I want to see what level it is. Hello? Oh, level 72. Darn it. If we manage to ever find ourselves a top level Tech Rex, we are stopping literally everything to try and tame it, okay? Wow, that Griffin really did do a number here, didn't it? <laughs> Literally took everything out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Dino Trap numero two. There we are. All that's left is the ceilings, and then we will have this thing just about ready to try to tame a griffin again. There we are. Oh, God. 
<laughs> okay, well, that, that was a little bit strange. So then, the chances of finding our red griffin, it's going to be somewhere over the ocean. Presumably, that is. Oh, God. What's going to happen first? Are we going to find the griffin first, or are we going to run out of stamina? For oh, God, there it is. Hey, bud, you want to try and come with, bud? Hello. Hello, hello. How you doing? Are you trying to come after me? No. Oh, is it? Is it trying to come after me? No, it isn't. It's still trying to flee. The one time I have to focus on something and you freaking dangle a ringed loot beam in me face. Ah, oh, what a bunch of balls, man. If only I could have it so its torpor was a bit lower, just so it would aggro on me. That would be amazing. You see, what I should have done, looking back, is I should have bought the rare flowers with me. Then that... I'm pretty sure would have made it aggro on me no matter what. Right? That's how that works? All right, screw it. We're checking out that ringed loot beam. I mean, it's here. It's down here now. It's ready to be picked up. Might as well, dudes. All right, what do you got for me, bud? Something good? Really? That's from a ringed loot beam. Mate. I feel like I've been freaking robbed. Ah, uh, I guess we could always try and go for a different griffin. Oh, funny that, isn't it? We go ahead and have a non-freaking ringed beam here, and it's got better loot. How? How does that work? <laughs> Unfortunately, the Ascendant Gilly Leggings, despite being a higher quality, are a much worse armor value. How? How does it determine this? This is so strange. Ascendant is supposed to be top tier. I just want this griffin. This is so annoying. If that first building didn't freaking break, we would have had that guy by now. Which is why I know this episode is probably quite painful for a lot of you guys to watch. So, yeah. You'll have to forgive me. <laughs> 12 rare flowers, each of them having an effect that lasts, what, seven, eight seconds maybe? Hmm. What do you guys think? Could that be enough to do this thing? Unfortunately, I can't find the red griffin anymore. I mean, I knew it was over the ocean, but it's just, it's nowhere to be found. Oh, big yikes. Like, seriously, where is it, man? I need it. I need it. To tame it would mean that it would be level 210 or thereabouts, man. Oh, snap. There's another one. What level are you? Uh, where are we? Where are we? Where is he? Oh! Yo, 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 yo! It's a 150! It's a 150! Let's go, baby! Oh, shoot, dude! All right, I think what we need to do now is kill some RGs, get it to be angry with us instead, and then we might have this in the bag. Okay, it's after me. Yes, 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 yes. All right, to the dino trap. Oh, snap. All right, we need to try and align ourselves pretty freaking smart here. There we go. You're still angry with me. Okay, good o. Still angry with me? Good oh. Let's get ourselves through here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Through here. And off we go. Oh, shoot. Oh, not quite, not quite, not quite. I think one of our limiting factors was one of the saddles I had on me was a little. Oh, no, 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 that's not good. Uh, yeah. Take that RG out. Take it out. This is turning out to be one of the longest tames I think I've ever done. This is literally taken up the entire episode. I was wanting to do other stuff, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen now. Otherwise, this episode is going to be like an hour freaking long. Go on, keep following me there, son. Keep following. Keep following. Going to get us all in here. Land. Ah! No! This really is quite the annoying one, isn't it? All right, I think we've got some decent distance here. Right, land, off, close. And close. Oh, finally. And it can't break anything. It can't break anything. <laughs> oh, yes. We might actually have this in the bag, guys. All right. Boom! So yeah, this method, it just works, doesn't it? You just got to make sure that there's a good amount of distance between you and the griffin so you can fly through it, land, and then close the gate. Oh, snappers. All right, all right, all right. This guy, uh, I think he's a little bit close to being KO'd here. Yeah. All right. I'm so worried about its health. Oh, I missed that one. Oh! It's out. It's out. We did it! It's out! And it's max level! I'm glad that that did the job as well, because this guy's- No, 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 no! No, no! High in the door! No! Not again! Not again! High in- No! No! 
No! No, 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 oh, no, 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 oh. Yeah, you better fall off the cliff! Hyenadons are the worst creatures in Ark. 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 Rid them! Delete them! Ban them! I fucking hate them! Oh, this guy is so close to death. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. All right, what's your torpor looking like? Okay, it's looking okay. Uh, oh, the taming effect of this is probably gone though, guys. That's the second top level creature that hyenadons in this series in the last couple of episodes alone have messed up i bet the arc devs are having a ruddy good laugh at my expense right now you absolute jerks man i hate hyenadons i hate them ban them freaking ruin their lives get them out the game that's the thing again though guys because this guy is incredibly low health even if i let it wake up and then i try to knock it out again i would almost certainly wind up killing it so what am i to do huh what am i to do i mean i'm not gonna wait for hours to have this guy get back up to max health okay oh all right, so it's going to take a fair while to actually tame this guy. But if I was to go ahead and maybe kill an RG, I could potentially get some prime meat. That might speed things up just a wee little bit. So if I was to go ahead over here, maybe we just go for like a low level RG. I want a low level one. Okay, level 45 seems kind of all right. I'll take this guy out. We're looking for the prime meat and pretty much nothing else aside from that. And uh, yeah, from there... There we are. A little bit of prime meat. Love it. Love to see it. All right. We should be able to speed up the griffin taming now. Well, the good news is we're still going to get a griffin. We need to try and see the silver linings, okay? We're still going to get the griffin. It's still going to be level 176, which is still an okay start for a new creature. And obviously, by getting the griffin, we should be able to easily tame ourselves a quetzal a little bit later down the line. I'm just really annoyed that we went to all this effort here and the freaking hyena duns were the ones to freaking break my spirit again. Ugh. Oh, well. Never mind. Guys, we're getting there. We are. I mean, do you know what, guys? Maybe in the future, we might just have another stab at being able to get ourselves a max level griffin. I mean, that would be beautiful, wouldn't it? If only hyenadons didn't exist. So let's put Tony inside of a Pokeball and then, uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll be able to ride the Griffin back to base. Guys, I already know what I'm going to be calling this guy. I mean, come on, Griffin. You guys probably know by now that I'm a big old Family Guy fan. Come on. There's only one name. Yep. It's the only name, isn't it? It's the only name. <laughs> All right, there we go. At the end of the day, guys, we've still managed to get ourselves a griffin. We have proved that this concept works with the freaking creature trap here. And uh, yeah, it just means that in future, we should be able to super easily recreate that if we need to. And then should be good to go, right? Maybe it's not even just griffins that we can tame in a box like this. Maybe some other big dinos as well. Maybe a rex, for example. I don't know, man. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen, going for the inaugural flight on the very first griffin I have ever tamed in my personal arc history. I'm very, very happy. Let's check out its stats real quick. We've got nearly 5,000 health. We've got nearly 600 stamina, 400 carry weight, 220 melee damage percent. I mean, I imagine if it was level 220 plus as it should have been, there would have been way better stats. But sometimes you just gotta roll with the cards you've been dealt, huh? And do you wanna know probably the best thing about the Griffin? Check it out! Yeah! We can shoot things like that on the back of the Griffin. That's freaking sick, man! <laughs> so this may just be the first ever series I might actually tame a Quetzal and actually be able to tame a Quetzal more to the point. Yeah! All right, there we go. Griffin tamed. Hello there, Peter Griffin. Oh, look at it in all of its beauty, huh? You are a beautiful creature. I mean, look at it. Such a majestic creature, isn't it? Damn, man. Those eyes, though, they look like freaking Sauron's eye. Wow. Absolute beauty, huh? All right, guys. Well, on that note, it is time to end off today's episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, despite my shortcomings, I would very much appreciate it, of course, if you guys would head down below the video and drop a like. Hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. But for now, my friends, thank you very much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.